You've asked me what the lobster is weaving there with his golden feet. I reply, the ocean knows this. You say, what is the cicada waiting for in its transparent bell? What is it waiting for? I tell you it's waiting for time, like you. You ask me whom the microcystis algae hugs in its arms. Study, study it. At a certain hour, in a certain sea I know. You question me about the wicked tusk of the narwhal, and I reply by describing how the sea unicorn with its harpoon in it dies. You inquire about the kingfisher's feathers which tremble in the pure springs of the southern tides, or you found in the cards a new question touching on the crystal architecture of the sea anemone. And you'll deal that to me now? You understand the electric nature of the ocean spines, the armored stalactite that breaks as it walks, the hook of the anglerfish, the music stretched out in the deep places like a thread in the water. I want to tell you the ocean knows this, that life in its jewel boxes is endless as the sand, impossible to count. Pure and among the blood-colored grapes, time has made the petal hard and shiny, made the jellyfish full of light, and untied its knot, letting its musical threads fall from horn of plenty made of infinite mother of pearl. I am nothing but the empty net which has gone on ahead of human eyes, dead in those darknesses of fingers accustomed to the triangle longitudes of the timid globe of an orange. I walked around as you do, investigating the endless star, and in my net during the night I woke up naked, the only thing caught, a fish trapped inside the wind.